Hello, it's Courtney Bree or Coco Bree, whichever you like to call me, and welcome back. I've been trying to level up my audio, especially when it comes to vlogging. I do a lot of behind the scenes videos on my TikTok, and it's always so echoey, and the audio is just like not that great. So, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the three audio devices I've been testing out the most and talk about the pros and cons of each. I'm not gonna make this intro super long since I played that long intro video, but if you could please just follow me on all of my socials and hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Up first, we've got the Movo shotgun microphone. This is the Movo. Movo VXR10 universal video microphone and it came with a shock mount and a dead cat which is the little like fluffy thing that's what they're called okay so I actually bought this microphone because I was going to try to pair it with my G7X Mark II spoiler alert it didn't work but it literally pairs perfectly with every other camera. We will talk about this in another video and how I was able to rig a microphone to work for this. It comes with a 3.5 millimeter jack, which is a jack that looks like this. So if your camera has a 3.5 millimeter jack, it will probably work for you. I will now insert a clip showing you the difference between using the internal mic from the camera versus using the Movo. I'm gonna demonstrate this microphone by reading an iconic piece of literature, Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. <laughs> I am Sam, I am Sam, Sam I am, that's Sam I am, that's Sam I am, I do not like that Sam I am, I am Sam, I am Sam, Sam I am, that's Sam I am, that's Sam I am, I do not like that Sam I am. Thank you. <laughs> okay, pros. Overall, I actually really love this microphone. I don't have many cons. It picks up sound really well. Dead Cat really actually works. It was easy to connect, easy to use. The only con would probably be that you just get what you get. Like you can't adjust the gain, you can't adjust the volume. But overall, this one is a really great microphone. I feel like it's worth the investment. This is a mid-tier price range. For $39.95, this is an excellent microphone. Okay, so up next we have a lavalier. I got this microphone because obviously Obviously, I want to be hands-free. I want to clip it to my shirt. It's a professional wireless lavalier. It was $25.99. I got it off Amazon. It is an omnidirectional condenser recording microphone for interview videos, podcast, vlog, YouTube. That's what it says. The way this microphone works, plug this little piece into your phone. Boom. You press a little power button. It automatically connects to your phone. If you're recording on your phone, it works. I'm gonna show you the difference between using the audio from the camera on the phone versus using the lavalier. I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. So the pros, it is small, it's portable, it clips to your shirt. It's great if you're doing on the go content. You can either use this with the camera on your phone or you can also use like voice memos or get a third party app. Now, when it comes to cons, for me, the audio sounds a little bit muddled when it's clipped to my shirt. When I'm holding it in my hand like this, it sounds perfectly clear and fine. But once I clip it to my shirt, it just sounds like I'm underwater a little bit. So I don't really like that because that's kind of the whole purpose of having this. This is lav layers in general, unless you actually know how to accurately put it on in the distance, I think you're you're gonna run into that issue. A very specific con for me is if I'm using this for like a behind the scenes video for one of my cosplay makeup transition videos, some of my transitions involve me like throwing my shirt off, which is like such a Coco specific problem. But if I'm like ripping my shirt off, this just flies off with it. Voice memos is not necessarily the best program, in my opinion, for labeling what audio goes with what. If I forget to turn this on, then I'm stuck using the audio from whatever device I'm recording on, but that's also kind of just a user error thing. Since it does have the lightning plug, it only connects with your phone. I guess it just depends on what you need it for. If you are looking for something hands-free that is a little bit closer to your body versus like on your camera, then, you know, a cute lavalier is fine. I'm sure there are like more expensive, better quality ones that are wireless. I still use it, it's fine, but yeah. It's just my thoughts on that. Moving on to so the final audio device I want to show you and my personal favorite is the Zoom H1N. 
I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. All right, so let's get into some of the pros and the cons of this device right here. Pro number one, extremely clear audio. This might be the best audio device that I have, even better than it records on an SD card up to 32 gigabytes, which I like. There are multiple settings, so you can control the gain here. You can delete audio, you can mark audio. There's a playback function. You can connect your headphones so you can listen back to the audio. And since it's stored on an external SD card, each file is individually marked. I'm not gonna go into all the features here, but I will go into it on the dedicated video for this. It could be used for podcasting, it could be used for vlogging, it could be used for so many different things. I think the audio is just clear enough to go across the board. Another pro is the screw on the back. You can screw it to your tripod. Now, if you have the Canon G7X Mark II, all all of this extra stuff did not come with it. This is how I've been hacking it. I will show you this setup. Baby, we hacked the system. We figured it out. I'm gonna show you how I figure this out in another video. It's lightweight, it's compact. I could just keep going on and on and on. This is clearly my favorite device. The cons of this, in my opinion, I think you have to be fairly close in order for you to get that crisp audio. I shot a behind the scenes for the intro of this video. I had it connected to my vlogging camera. The audio was fine. It was clearer than the internal microphone of the camera, but there's still a lot of echo in the room. This one, you would have to sync the audio in post-production. If you're like me and forget to record on it, then you might run into some issues. This can be intimidating if you are a novice and don't really know what you're doing, but there are tons of YouTube videos that are very clear. It's really simple. It's just very specific numbers that like, it's like, girl, what is this about? Another con for me is that it takes AAA batteries. I don't wanna have to keep buying batteries. It's like, dang. Why well, can't just plug it up? And I think those are my only cons for this. I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is the 2018 version. This does connect directly to cameras like the Movos. It's just this dang on vlogging camera, y'all. Like, ooh. Don't get me wrong, I love that camera, but don't let me go off on a tangent of like what it can't do. If you're looking for a good vlogging camera, get the Mark III. In conclusion, I really like all three of these for different things. It just depends on what I'm doing. I know a lot of people have been using Rode mics. I really like Rode mics. I just haven't bought one because shorty is on a budget sis is unemployed now i'll do the best i can but when i got oh keep my budget tight all right i was able to get this during the amazon prime day deals there are a few other microphones make sure you just do your research look on youtube there are tons and tons of reviews i will get back to y'all and let y'all know they will all be linked in the description below i'll also link this yeti mic i just didn't talk about it because it's like so stagnant in my office so yeah let me know do you guys use any of these microphones what has been your experience have are there better options sound off in the comments make sure you're following me on all of my socials i'm coco Bree everywhere i also have coco Bree cosplay on instagram Instagram, subscribe, hit the like button, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.